Hello, in this tutorial we will look at uh, question number one from June 2010 paper which examines your knowledge of uh, costing techniques. In the exam you will be given 15 minutes reading time in which you should uh, analyze the questions, make your plan and understand all the requirements. So let's have a look at uh, question number one which is brick by brick and it's a building business and what they do is uh, they construct garage conversions and extensions to properties. Now let's look at the requirements. These are at the end of the question. The question has four requirements split into part A, B, C and D. So let's analyze first requirement part A. What is the topic which is examined? As you can see, the topic examined is absorption costing, which is your knowledge from F2 paper. And you are supposed to calculate the cost and price of the two products. What is the topic of part B? As you can see, activity-based costing, ABC, is topic examined and again you are supposed to calculate cost and price for the two products. And the next requirement is C. So what is the topic here? Let's read that. In this requirement, pricing strategies are examined. And the question has actually two parts because you are supposed to suggest pricing strategies and suggest two reasons other than high prices for the current poor sales. So two reasons for poor sales. Now the question is split into two parts, so you need to split also the marks which are available, six marks available. In second part, what they want is two reasons, so it seems reasonable to allocate two marks to that requirement, which leaves us four marks for the first part. And now let's have a look at the last requirement in part D which says one manager has suggested that only marginal costs should be included in budget cost calculations as this would avoid the need for arbitrary overhead allocations to products. Now this is not a question, this is a statement, but it suggests that the topic which is examined is marginal costing. So the question really comes in the next sentence. Briefly discuss this point of view, which is first part of the question and comment on the implications for the amount of markup. Implications for the markup. So the question is split into two parts. Again, you will need to split the marks available. And here probably a good split would be two marks for the first part and two marks for the second part. As you can see, requirements in part A and B ask you to calculate cost and prices, whereas requirements part C and D ask you to suggest some possible pricing strategies and suggest some reasons. Uh, and in part B, uh, D, uh, what they want is a brief discussion and you should also comment on some implications. So part A and B is calculation, part C and D is written part discussion. After reading requirements, you should make your plan, answer plan. So if you are good in numbers, you would probably start with uh, part A and B with a simple calculation of absorption costing, and then part B, which is activity-based costing, that may be a more time-consuming, so be careful there. Of course, if you prefer discussion, uh, discussing these topics, uh, you might as well start with uh, part C or part D, whichever is uh, uh, easier for you. And now let's read the 
details of the question so let's move a little bit up here and continue bbb has a policy to price all jobs at budgeted total cost plus 50 percent what we are given here is uh, amount of profit and a pricing strategy which is cost plus so what they are doing is uh, markup on total costs overheads are currently absorbed on labor hour basis BBB thinks that uh, they should switch to ABC. In addition, we are provided with following data. Some overhead cost categories and total overhead costs. And some activity drivers. And what is quite important for part A is total labor hours. Out of these two, we can calculate overhead absorption rate. which will equal to $10 per hour. The detailed information on overhead category costs and activity drivers will be needed in order to answer part B on activity-based costing. Let's see what is the Additional information below here. A typical GC costs $3,500 in materials and 300 labor hours. GC requires only one side visit. This will be information needed for activity-based costing and one planning document Compared to that, EX costs $8,000 in materials, takes 500 hours to complete, and interestingly, requires six site visits and five planning documents. Labor hour is paid. $15 per hour. Let's plan the answer now. As you can see, the additional information is uh, only for part A and B. Part C and D are standalone and they can be answered separately without any calculations. So I will actually try to do the part C and D first and then I will continue with uh, calculation. You can see that part C is uh, for six marks, so that's uh, about 11 minutes. I shouldn't spend more than 11 minutes on this question. And part D is for four marks, so that's uh, four times 1.8, about seven minutes. Altogether, I shouldn't spend more than 18 minutes on this too. In my reading time, I could start to prepare some mind map, uh, some plan of uh, the answer. So let's start with uh, part C. You could write on your question paper here, but whatever you write here will not be reviewed by the marker. So uh, don't write too much. It's just the ideas, uh, some brief bullet points of, uh, of your thoughts. So first of all, there are two reasons for high prices, uh, uh, two reasons other than high prices for poor sales. So what could be reasons for poor sales of uh, these uh, garage conversions? Think about some of them. Poor sales could be caused by many factors. I have listed four of them here. So quality of uh, a product of uh, garage conversions could be really bad compared to competitors. Uh, or BBB might not have a good reputation uh, in uh, garage conversions. Uh, other factors uh, could be external, like uh, market uh, depression, or internal, some uh, poor processes uh, within BBB. You should pick two and in your answer time write full sentences. Please refer to the case, so talk about building business and uh, really discuss uh, garage conversions as a product. Don't write in general terms.
Don't forget that the question part C has uh, two components. Uh, and the first one is uh, suggest possible pricing strategies. And currently they use cost plus. So as BBB switches from uh, absorption costing to activity-based costing, their cost base uh, will change and their pricing strategy might be to adjust the prices uh, in relation to changed uh, costs. You could discuss uh, what would be the impact on customers, uh, what could be the risks uh, related to such a change and also to the size of a change. Uh, size seems to be quite small, 7% and 2%, so that might be acceptable. You could discuss here also general concepts like pricing should depend on your total costs, uh, uh, how much the customers are willing to pay for your products and also how much competition is charging for similar things. You could pick also a couple of uh, pricing methods, uh, e.g. discounting, uh, uh, for example, based on volume or uh, discounts given to loyal customers. Or you could talk about penetration pricing. Uh, uh, let's say uh, if uh, you just introduced a new product like garage conversions, uh, and this might be reasonable pricing strategy. Note your ideas on the question paper. Uh, in order to guide you when you are going to discuss these things uh, in your answer sheet. Similarly, you could uh, make notes on part D. Here, the first component asks you to discru uh, discuss briefly the point of view. Uh, and here, a good start uh, could be explanation of uh, the terms marginal costs and arbitrary overhead allocation. Marginal costs are variable costs, so uh, all the overheads would be excluded. Uh, arbitrary overhead allocation means that uh, uh, labor hours are uh, used as a basis for uh, overhead uh, absorption. But why labor hours? You could use some other basis. After a brief explanation, you should discuss the point of view, which means you should give some arguments which would support this point of view or which would disagree with it. Don't forget to talk also about implications for the markup. So if uh, you use only marginal costs, clearly markup will have to be applied on a smaller amount of costs and therefore the markup has to be higher. 50% would not be sufficient. Uh, you should also uh, discuss uh, the potential risks related to uh, such a strategy, especially for salespeople who would uh, not know really when do they break even. So if uh, they are giving discounts, they might actually sometimes over discount.